Hi, this is Guy Wallace. A focus on tasks and outputs during instructional analysis, design, and development provides you with authentic worked examples and the necessary behavioral and cognitive tasks for use in post information, demonstration, and applications that are necessary to help develop initial performance competence. By worked examples, I mean both the output and the tasks necessary to produce the output. I use often the regular speed demonstrations and slow motion demonstrations to share both the behavioral tasks of the performance workflow as well as the cognitive tasks of the parallel thought flow in creating an authentic worked example. I use the slow mo approach as the hand is sometimes quicker than the eye as the old saying goes and explaining the necessary thought processes need to be deliberate and effective if you wish the learners to incorporate that into the practice efforts. I may use more than one slow motion demo, depending on how the performers need to vary their behavioral and cognitive tasks back on the job. Where the instruction is not about topics with face validity, it's about authentic tasks and outputs, and the measures for both that leads to performance competence back on the job. That's the nature of performance-based instruction.